and welcome back to another part in my DIY analog synthesizer videos. What I'm going to be dealing with here in this video is the envelope boards. As you can see, this is a revision um, revision 1.1. There was a first revision. There's not a hell of a lot of difference between them, except for we have a we have the dual polarity, so we have a positive envelope on polarity one and negative on polarity two, which you can send to a potentiometer to mix both sides. Uh, which also acts as a depth control. Um, I'm still kind of not 100% happy with this. There's a, bit, there's a bit of a mistake. I've had to kind of do a little bit of um, wiring underneath, etc., um, which will be sort of done in, which will come out in the v version 1.2 board, which hopefully should be the final, final envelope board. Again, it's one of these things. There's no point steaming into this project and expecting that. It's my first ever electronics project I ever even dreamt of, dreamt of undertaking let alone trying to build a uh, a musical instrument um so yeah so it's just a bit of a big learning curve really for me and it's yeah it's quite fun finding out you know making mistakes and finding results that work it's quite rewarding so anyway so what we have here is the board uh we have the full four controls attack we have the attack and we have decay sustain and we have release as well We've also got a release time switch. If we look at the RL2 and the RL, sorry, not the RL. Ah, I f can't quite see it on here. I know it is here somewhere. Ah, there we go. It's the RSW. So we have the release switch times and we have another one up there as well. So basically what we're doing, we're switching in the extra capacitor to give us a larger um, discharge of the release voltage. So you get a longer release or you can just basically you switch between the two to have a more snappier release depending on what your implementation for your sound design is um yeah i mean it's not the most complex of envelopes this is not 100 percent my own design I, this is a design i took from yves Usson, the french guy i think he is who's been in the diy um, analog synthesizer realms for a very long time and basically, from what I found out with further research, that in fact, in, in actual fact, that that particular design was not necessarily his in the first place. So it's kind of, again, I've kind of done what he's done and kind of put it, put my own twist on it and tweaked it to my own, um, my own kind of needs and optimization. So anyway, as we can see over here, this is the pop two populated envelope boards. I think over here is when I put the first one in, which is the general modulation envelope. This one kind of goes off to VCOs and it goes off to both filters, filters one and filters two. And it also, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it also does a few other bits and pieces but I can't quite get from the top of my head right now. Uh, what is not apparent here is a very small addition which I did um, quite late in my breadboarding session where basically we're going to take from here the gate in will have a switch so you can switch between an LFO or you can actually have the, the normal sort of 10 volts gate coming in so we can switch between having a loop in envelope which can be quite um, useful or we can just have it fired normally from the gate over here I have a 1.1 board uh, envelope board which one does the VCA at the moment as you can see, just over here, we've got the, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, just over that side, that's the dual VCA over there. And yeah, that's all there is to it. So in the second half of the video, I'm just going to kind of just show you through some sounds and we can just have a little listen to how, how the, um, how the sound reacts to these envelopes, how the voltage is controlled by these envelopes. Did that make sense? I'm not sure. Anyway, don't care. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm trying to get at. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Catch you guys on the other side. And please leave a comment at when this um, at the end of the video. And let me know if there's any questions that you need answering. Or if there's any sort of suggestions or ideas. All welcome. All good. All right, people. Catch you soon.
Yeah. 